Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Minnesota Twins at Metropolitan Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Gene Brabender, whose record is 6-2 with a 3-11 ERA. And pitching for the Minnesota Twins today is Dick Estelle, whose record is 1-2 with a 5.66 ERA. Okay, so we swept the first place Orioles at home, um, and we also won the last game versus the White Sox. We're on a four-game winning streak, um, probably the most surprising series of the season. I mean, we walked, I should say Tommy Agee walked off the first two games, and then yesterday, Darren Johnson hit a two-run home run in which I had to uh, chug a bottle of wine. Uh, it was a mini bottle, though, right? So it wasn't like I was, uh, you know, chugging a full bottle, uh, a, fu a, full <laughs> a full carafe of wine. Um, but it was a lot of fun, and I probably won't be doing that again anytime soon. Uh, but it was, uh, it was fun to, to sweep the Orioles. And then we had a day off. Uh, so everyone is going to be healthy heading into the series in Minnesota here. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. There is still time to vote for the uh, AA and AAA uh, team names. So uh, if you haven't done that yet, you can go to the Brainiac Baseball YouTube main page and go to Community. And uh, there you'll find the, um, the uh, options to vote for. There are five options. It looks like we already have two uh, good ones that might be uh, chosen. But if you haven't had a chance to vote, please feel free to get in on that. Um, and uh, we, we like a democracy here. So we've got Gene Brabender coming off his worst start of the season on the verge of throwing his 100th inning pitch. So that's kind of exciting. And we have the full bullpen uh, available today. Okay, and then we look at our lineup. Dick Estelle, another lefty. Were there this many lefties in baseball in the late 60s? I don't feel like that's so true now, but we have our lineup in there. Versus lefties, primarily all righties, it looks like. So Higgins on the bench. Pepitone still has not made a start yet for us. Uh, Don Kessinger. A lot of these players could get in in pinch hitting if they bring in a, um, a right-handed pitcher um, or we need a defensive replacement. So I'm trying to build the team so that all the pieces fit properly. Um, and they really haven't done that at all this year. So... Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Pilots today. Batting leadoff, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, batting leadoff, playing second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in right field is Tommy Harper. Batting cleanup in left field is Tommy Agee. Batting fifth in center field is Don Bosch. Batting sixth, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting seventh and catching is Jerry McNerty. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Rob Ender. Pitching for the uh, Twins today is the left-hander, Dick Estelle. Uh, he is their fourth man in the rotation, uh, making his fourth start. <laughs> He's 1-2 um, with a 5.66 ERA. More walks and strikeouts. Opponents are batting 300 against him. Uh, his fastball tops out at, eight, at 90 miles an hour. He's a ground ball pitcher, 43.3% of the time. He does have two pitches above league average. His screwball is his best pitch. And a fastball rated in 82. Overall rated in 82. The 27-year-old lefty goes to arbitration in 1971. You can see his uh, 1966 a rookie card here for the Giants. He actually never pitched in the major leagues after this, uh, after the uh, 65 season. So good for him getting into the uh, rotation for the Twinkies. The first place Twins, by the way. Okay, there's the Twins defense here at Metropolitan Stadium. They are good everywhere. Not, um, not one position that's below league average defensively. 
Maybe that's part of the reason why they're in first place. Here we go with Gary Sutherland leading off against Dick Estelle. Sutherland batting 345 with three home runs, and he gaps it into left center field, cut off by the center fielder, Ulander. So Sutherland's held to a single. Um, thank goodness we have one middle infielder that's doing well. And we have our hit and run guy in the number two spot today instead of number three with Keegan out. And he hits it right back up the middle for a base hit. And the hit and run was on, and yet Sutherland holds at second. Makes no sense. What can we do, though? First and second, nobody out. Tommy Harper up. It's been a while since Harper's hit a home run, or really been on a hot streak. A base hit up the middle. There we go, Sutherland around third. And he scores. It's 1-0 on three consecutive singles by the Pilots. So we've got Estelle against the ropes here with Tommy Agee up. Agee, the big hero from last series, had three home runs. Two walk-offs, and he pops it up into foul ground. On the third base side, there's out number one. Next up is Don Bosch. Bosch. Batting 234, six home runs. He had the day off yesterday. Ground ball to first. Will that be a double play? Good speed on the base path. It is a double play. So kind of a wasted opportunity, although we did score a run. Typically, that's all Gene Brabender needs. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Twins today. Batting leadoff in left field is Mike Adams. Batting second, playing first base is Rod Carew. Batting third in right field is Tony Oliva. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Greg Nettles. Batting fifth at shortstop is Leo Cardenas. Batting sixth and catching is John Roseboro. Batting seventh in center field is Ted Ulander. Batting eighth at second base is Frank Colici. And batting ninth is the pitcher Estelle. Okay. Gene Brabender, as I mentioned, coming off his worst start. We're going to look at the log here momentarily. We're looking for him to bounce back. He's 6-2 with a 3-11 ERA, 73 strikeouts and 98 and a third innings pitch. Can't overlook those walks, though. Opponents are batting 206 against him. He does have a complete game shutout. You pretty much know the rest. The 27-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. Let's look at the log. Four to third innings. Okay, so he's coming off a shutout before that. So this was the even up game. Uh, he was always going to get clobbered. That seems to be the way things go here. You pitch one good game and then you get blued up. And that's what happened. Um, so he's coming off the shutout. And he gave up seven runs to the White Sox. He has faced the Twins twice. Uh, once in relief. And... Once, yeah, on June 1st, he went seven and a third, giving up three runs on seven hits, getting the win in that game. So, Okay, let's take a look at the defense. Uh, not so great. Second base and right field and catcher. Those are our weaknesses. And Mike Adams leading off. Adams, the rookie, batting 246, three home runs, popping it up on the infield. Darren Johnson, I believe, making the catch. There we go, one down. Hall of Famer, Rod Carew. Well, he must be on a tear because his average is up to 322. Looking at his log, yeah, he's betting 350 in his last 20 games. So he has been tearing it up. Nobody on, full count. And a line drive to right. Harper, oh, it falls in. How does that land in front of Harper? Come on, man. Base hit for Carew. Runner on first for Tony Oliva. Three lefties in a row here. There's a ground ball to short. Can we turn two on them? No. We had five double plays in yesterday's game. As uh, Carew safe at second on the ground out from Oliva. So runner in scoring position now for Greg Nettles. Nettles is 0 for 3 with a walk against Brabender. Let's give him another one here. 
Well, this seems like it could be the walk-strikeout combination as Leo Cardenas leading the team with 10 home runs. Steps up. And a pass ball. So a base hit will score two here. And that very easily could be what happens. Yeah, next pitch swinging. And there's a gapper. Yeah, so there was nothing we were going to do to stop that from happening. And Brabender really has been struggling lately. Another walk. Another walk. And a fly ball to right. Right center deep. Caught at the fence. Damage was done. We couldn't get out of that. We, we, we don't turn a double play when your defense is not strong like ours is. Uh, it goes the other direction. We gave up two runs and a shit ton of walks. And I hope that... I mean, it's very possible. We've seen it happen a million times in the Tiger series. Um, it's possible that Broadbender hit the wall. Darren Johnson walks. He uh, had the... Um, whole big home run yesterday that made me chug the wine. Didn't make me. I wanted to. McNerty lays down a bunt. Tried to get Johnson over. There we go. Try to play a little small ball here with the bottom of the lineup. Now, Freddie Pontek got his first hit as a Tiger, a Tiger, as a pilot yesterday. Uh, he had a double. He's one for nine on the season. Ground ball to first. That'll get Johnson over. Oh, it's an error! Oh, no! An error on the first baseman, Carew. He does have a good rating here, but he is definitely not a good defensive player. Um, it is first and third. Uh, one out, infield in, and we are going to lay down a bunt. Um, now, Johnson doesn't have to go here. I hope the game knows that. 1-0 count. That ground ball to third. Johnson, is he coming home? He is, and he's out at the plate. Well, there's, a, there's already been so many things that have gone wrong in this game. There's no possible way we could win this one. We've seen all the signs. And a ground ball to second. So, yeah. Well, shit. We did have a pretty good run, four in a row. Brabender gets his first strikeout. It's of the pitcher, though. He's given up five base runners. He's had a pass ball. Not his fault, technically. Mike Adams pops it up. Can we get a one, two, three inning, or is this going to be a two-out rally situation? Rod Carew, base hit, yeah. This will be a two-out rally. Oliva popping it up into the outfield grass for out number three. Go to the top of the third. Here's Rich Rall. Rollins sends it to center field. One out. I'm glad we didn't pay Brabender because he clearly doesn't have it anymore. And... Um, yeah, I mean, we might just have to let him go to arbitration and do a side and trade or something. Ground ball from Nettles to short. Play made by Patek. One out here in the bottom of the third. Ground ball to third. Two outs and Roseboro ground ball to short. Moving on to the fourth. Yeah, in games like this, when you're down a run, it feels like you're down 10 runs. Um, Leadoff man is on. We'll lay down a bun again. He's already been good once. Will it happen twice? No, a wild pitch. Now they are going to bring in the third baseman. So we're going to try to hit to the right side. And there we go. The game is tied with a base hit from McNerty. Well, they gave it to us, right? I mean, we gave them the pass ball. That was a two-run a two run single. And then um, they give us a wild pitch. And it's all tied at two. I don't know. McNerty on first. 
Face hit for Pawtuck up the middle. McNerton, he does have to hold. We're certainly going to bunt now, but they're not going to bring the infield in. Maybe that's because it's not going to be successful. Well, ground ball to first. Everybody does move up. There we go. Good job by Brabender. Runners on second and third. One out. Sutherland at the plate. We're going to let him take a cut. Ground ball to short. McNerty goes home and scores the go-ahead run. So give Sutherland an RBI. It's 3-2 to two, Seattle. Rollins strikes out to end the inning. Okay, Brabender, we got him back uh, the lead here. Hmm. All right. Um, Ulander leading off. It's the bottom third of the lineup. 66 pitches now for Ulander. He gets a second strikeout. Strikeout walk? Yeah, yeah, strikeout walk. Oh, strikeout, strikeout! Okay. I see you, Rob Ender. Can he strike out the side with the pitcher up? He might. Oh, he does! He strikes out the side. Rob Ender heard me uh, talking about his money. And uh, he's starting to up his game here as it goes along. Top of the fifth inning with Tommy Harper up. Harper, ground ball to short. One out. Here's AG, 0 for 1 with a walk. And he strikes out. Estelle, second strikeout of the ball game. And Bosch pops up. It's the bottom of our lineup today, getting things done. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Left-handers coming up. Let's see if we can get Brabender through one more. Oh! God bless it. That ball was so close. Yeah, well, this is how things fall apart. we got to guard the lines here. Yep. Base hit. So it's first and third. Nobody out. We'll pull the first baseman in. Otherwise, we'll play back for a double play. Give up the run. Ground ball to short. Can we get two? No, of course not. Tying run scores. What a bunch of bullshit. Um, all right, so now the go-ahead runs in scoring position. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Oh, wild pitch. There we go. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Good job, game. Pull the infield in. And there's another run. Sack fly. So, Brabender gives it right back up. Those walks will bite you every time. Top of the sixth inning. Darren Johnson popping it up. McNertney, one for one. Uh, two for two, infield single. He's got two sacrifices and a... Uh, no, one sacrifice, a single, and... No, two singles, right. All right, well, let's see here. We get somebody on. No, that's going to be a double play. God bless it. All right, we're going to take out Brabender. That's the second shitty performance from Brabender. Going to bring in uh, Danny Walton. What is uh, Potek's percentage for stealing second? The guy's got 95 speed, and it's a 70%. What is the catcher, Roseboro? He's good. He's 88, right? 85. And uh, what's his percentage? Whoa, he's thrown out 46%. How do you throw out 46% and still have a negative war? He's made nine errors behind the plate in 66 games. This, this game, statistics do not matter. Ratings do not matter. It does not make any sense at all. So I guess we let Danny Walton take a cut. And he flies out to left. So Brabender can take a loss today, but he cannot get the win. Out comes Walton. We're going to bring in Ron Locke 
face the lefties here. He's been awesome for us. Um, for a guy that hasn't pitched in five years in the majors, step it up. Looking good. Um, opponent's batting average below 200. Um, he gets righties out just as well as lefties, so he's been a big help to us. Okay, here's Rose Boro. Hits lefties well, 267 hitter. Fly ball into right center field. One down. Ted Ulander up next, striking out on a pitch that was above his head. Two outs, here is Frank Quilici. Quilici's one for one in his career. Make it two for two and maybe a double. A triple, of course it's a triple. Well, at least we have Dick Estelle up. He's a switch hitter for a pitcher. He's gonna turn around and bat right-handed. 0 for five on the year. Talk about a guy that's due. Yeah, of course. Fuck this game, man. This game is fucking bullshit. A pitcher gets a double for the first hit of the season. Unbelievable. What a waste. With two outs, of course. Sutherland base hit. What hit and run? The four-game winning streak isn't wasn't going to last forever anyway. As back-to-back um, -back singles to start it off. We need a big hit. No, of course not. Harper knows he's out the door. Magic is gone from AG. Oh, they're going to give it to us. An error on the third baseman, Nettles. First and third, it's five to four. Here's Darren Johnson, 1-0 count. And a base hit up the middle. Did we tie it up? AG around third, and he scores, and that's going to do it. They're going to bring in a new pitcher. It's tied at five, and they're going to bring in another left-hander. That is so stupid. It is Tom Hall. There he is right here. Uh, we've seen him before. Yeah, he's got... Wait, I thought he had like a 95 Monar fastball or something. I guess not. It is rated a 93, his fastball. Uh, overall an 88. Oh, yeah, the peak is 96. That's incredible. 21-year-old lefty goes to arbitration in 1971. Just great numbers across the board. How does he um, do against right-handers? Oh, he shuts the righties down. Okay, well, that makes sense. McNertney might be overmatched here. Oh, they're going to walk him. They walk him, and the bases are loaded for Freddie Patek. Patek is looking for his uh, pilot's moment. This might be it. A base hit. Give him the lead. That would look good. One-two count. And he makes solid contact, but it will be out number three. The error by uh, Nettles gives us two more runs, and it's five all going to the bottom of the seventh inning. And we'll keep Ron Locke in there. That was not his fault. La what happened last inning. Oh, God. Man, I hate this game. There's a double play. Giveth and taketh away. And then a pop -up. Into right field for out number three. We're going to the eighth inning, taking out lock now. We will... They have a left... They still have the lefties. I guess we're going to let Johnny Jeter get a, at bat here. Johnny Jeter got his first start yesterday. How did he do in that game? 0 for 3. Scored a run. Two walks. If he gets on base like that, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I like Johnny Jeter. 0-1 count. And is that his first hit? Get down. Yeah, there we go. Jeter, base hit. He's got great speed, but a 50-50 shot is not worth it. Um, but what about stealing second? 
68%. So stupid. All right. Um, Sutherland is going to lay down a sacrifice bunt. We are all about small ball right now. There's a comebacker to Hall. Jeter safe at second. Okay, so a runner in scoring position. That's a go-ahead run. Jeter, great speed. And Rich Rollins is up. Rollins is having a good day today. Two for four. A couple of singles and a strikeout. Of course, he hits it to the left side because why wouldn't he? And Tommy Harper, one for four. Strikes out. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're going to use him on defense because Harper's done. So we'll put Jeter in right field. We're definitely not going to miss Harper's bat. And we need a new pitcher. We do have some lefties coming up here. Um, what do we do here? I think we throw Skippy for one. And then we bring in Denny Riddleberger to get the next group of lefties here. Okay, that's what we'll do. So here's Skip Lockwood. Take a look at his numbers. Pretty good. I mean, he's uh, suddenly he's pitching in like every ball game. And he's doing a good job. I don't like those walks. Excuse me, but as a rookie, you know, it's going to be a little wild. Leo Cardenas leading off. He is one for three. He had those two RBIs after the pass ball moved him over. Sutherland makes the play. So Lockwood does his gerb. And we're bringing in Riddleberger. And he just got into yesterday's game walk. The guy gave up a hit. That was his major league debut. John Roseboro. 0 one count. Poppy get up. Shallow center field. Second baseman Sutherland coming over to make the play. And Ulander gets an infield single. He does hit lefties well. Can never go easy. It always has to be some kind of bullshit like this. We're going to guard the lines, though. We have to here. With Kalichi up. ulander has got good speed. That was a good call. Johnson's right there and makes the play. We're going to the ninth inning. I feel like there's free baseball in our near future. Tommy Agee will lead off versus Tom Hall. Striking out. Striking out. And grab it. Yeah, well, now it kind of feels like a walk-off is due. We're going to take out Riddleberger and bring in Mike Marshall. He is our closer. It's the ninth inning. We want him to lock it down here. And of course, one of the best hitters of all time is not in the regular lineup on this team. It's Harmon Killerbrew, the killer. He's pinch hitting. He's got 11 home runs. I guess he has the team lead in home runs, not Cardenas. Will he walk it off and just end the ball game right now? Ground ball to Rollins. Rollins, if he a third. Oh, he makes the play. One out. Mike Adams up next. Testing Rollins, and he lets it get by him. And now here come the lefties. Will Adams be running? I would send him. Right? You got the, you're the home team. You can walk it off right now if you get a stolen base. We're going to guard the lines. Ground ball to second. Of course, we don't get the lead runner. That's going to bring up Tony Oliva, for whatever reason. Um, does not hit righties well? That feels like a trap. It's a trap! Um, we're going to pitch to him, but this is probably it. Yep. Oh, it's a line drive to short. Error? Oh, he's out. Oh, we got free baseball. Okay, well, we're still in it. And they're bringing in their closer. It's Al Worthington. You see his record here. He's got 10 saves, 2 blueies, 29 strikeouts, and 36 innings pitch. He's 40 years old. 
Um, and he did not pitch in 1969, so technically he was out of baseball. And we've got a righty in there, so now we can start thinking about lefties uh, getting into the ball game here. McNerdy, two for two with a ribby. Let's see what he's got. Full count. And he walks, and that's a pinch runner. Let's get this game done. Um, is Hegan or Kessinger faster? Oh, the same speed. Okay. So Kessinger will come in and pinch run because we want Hegan's bat available. So Kessinger on first. Here's Freddie Patek. Uh, he's going to lay down a bunt. Here we go. How are they not pulling the infield in? Good bunt to third. Kessinger moves to second for Johnny Jeter. Jeter batting 367. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take out Jeter, though. And we're going to pinch hit Mike Hegan. Hegan will go into play if we go to another inning here, or we'll have to play defense. Hegan would play left. We'll just shift everybody over. Okay, here we go, Hegan. Hegan 0 for 2 in his career versus Worthington. 1-0 count. Hegan base hit the right. Come on, Kessinger. He scores from second. It's 6-5. to five. Pilots, we've got the lead here with Gary Sutherland up. Only one out. 1-1 one, one count. And a ground ball to first. Hegan advances. A chance here for Rich Rall. Give us an insurance run, Rollins. Oh, 2-2 two, two count. Fly ball to left. It falls in! Oh, there we go! Run scores. It's 7-5. to five. We're not going to go for two. Uh, coincidentally, though, it does bring up our pitcher. And that means we're going to see Joe Pepitone... For the first time, we'll bring in uh, Diego to close the ball game out. Here's Joe Pepitone, first at bat as a pilot, coming over for the Yankees. We'll see him at first base here as soon as we face a righty. What can Pepitone do for us today? 1-0 count. And a base hit just gets past the second base. With Rollin holds the second. So Pepitone making a good first impression. Bringing it back around to A.G., who's 0 for 4 today. 1-0 count to A.G. And a base hit into center field. Rollins coming around third. He scores 8-5 to five pilots. And we are piling it on here against the 40-year-old Worthington. Don Bosch, 0-1 count. And a base hit to right. Everybody scores a triple for Bosch. And we have moguled Al Worthington maybe into retirement. That is Bosch's first triple of the season. Nicely done. Two down. Runner on third. I think this game is pretty much over as Darren Johnson pops up. So we'll move Hegan to left. We'll put Pepitone at first. Uh, use on defense. So Pepitone, better defensively than Johnson. Uh, what do we got going on here? What's what's the problem? Oh, we need a catcher. Uh, we'll put Kessinger at shortstop. He's better than Patek. Uh, we got Merritt Renu catching. Hegan will go to left. And there we go. Everybody's happy. We need a pitcher, and that's going to be Diego Segui. I bring in Pedro Ramos, but I don't want to mess around. We've got a five-run lead, but I don't feel like that would be enough with Pedro um, in the ball game. So we're, we're going to Diego to wrap this baby up. We've got our best defense in there. Nettles popping it up to our worst defensive player. Sutherland has already made an error today. There's one out. Leo Cardenas flies out to right, and we're one out away from pulling out 
Our fifth win in a row. This game looked like it was over multiple times today. And um, we might be getting out of here with a five-game winning streak. It's never easy as Roseboro gets a run. Are we going to give him a couple runs? I mean, that's possible. Ulander. A ground ball to short. Kessinger makes the play. The Pilots win. They're fifth in a row, 10-5. to five. Handshakes, butt slaps, slap his stakes. Yeah, we, there was a long uh, simulation there that took forever. But uh, no trade offers, as I was saying in, during the part that I just edited out. I did go through to our lineup and our pitchers, and I went through, and I either made a player won't trade, might trade, or on the block, uh, depending on how I felt about them and the future for our team. Obviously, I love Gary Sutherland. He's killing it. But his rating is only 69 out of 70. So why wouldn't I consider trading him? Because um, there's really not much future for him. But we, we enjoy what he's doing for us now. And I, I went ahead and did that for all the players. So that with the trade deadline coming up next month, you know, I'm not opposed to trading people. But the only person on the team that is definitely out the door is Tommy Harper. Um, so we know that for sure. Um, let's take a look at... The standings after today's victory were one and a half back because of our win over the first place Minnesota Twins. Uh, we've won five in a row, which is the best in the American League. San Diego is now 20 and 57. They've got 20 victories. Um, we still have that contest going on, so we need not forget. Let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Orioles outlast Royals in extra innings. So the Orioles get back to winning ways. Uh, less roar. Allowed three runs. Uh, Dave May got a walk and a steal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, here's our game. Seattle beats Minnesota. I don't know who our player of the game is. Uh, Mike Keegan, I think, got the game-winning RBI, but... We'll have to take a look at the box score after we look at the transactions. We saw the trade yesterday and Frank Snook. So let's look at the three injuries we have. We have Jeffrey Volweiler, which we saw pitch against us. He was a lifetime AAA player. Um, he's going to miss a week due to a broken cheekbone. Bob Pretty of the Atlanta Braves is in AAA. And Glenn Borgman is going to miss 111 days. He was in single-A ball anyway. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. A big victory. Scoring 10 runs, 5 in the ninth inning. Um, so it makes the game look like it wasn't close. Man, there were many times I thought this game was over. Yeah, Mike Keegan did get the game-winning RBI. I, I kind of feel like he deserves the the um, player of the game. But uh, but Don Bosch did have two RBI. Where is uh, Keegan? Yeah, there it is right there. Rich Rollins had three hits. We're going to give it to Don Bosch. He had the triple that um, drove in two runs. And although that wasn't the... Um, Runs that won the game. It was the runs that tied it in the seventh. So that was pretty big. Uh, Mike Marshall gets the win. He's 3-1. Uh, and one. The bullpen did their gerb. Ron Locke, I ain't mad at you for giving up a run. Uh, Al Worthington, 0-4 oh on the season. Five runs there uh, in extra innings. So we'll take it. Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the three-game series. Until then, everyone have a great day.